All right, so this video is to help you scan your six liter and find out any crank no start issues you might have. So what you're gonna need is the blue OBD dongle from, it's from, I think it's a V-Gate. Uh, I got it from Amazon for 15 bucks. It plugs in your OBD port. If you have an Android device, all you need to do is download the Torque Pro app. This is what it looks like. You have to buy it for $5. So all together you're at 20 bucks. You have to go to adapter status and you have to make sure everything's connected properly. And I know you have to enter some codes in. I don't have them offhand, but I know there's some YouTube videos for it. And it gives you like a random code. It's like capital A and it's like, you know, hashtag, you know, slash dash three, five, one, something like that. You got to enter it in. Um, I believe that's for Fickham Sync or Cam and Crank Sync. And there's somewhere here, I don't remember because it's been so long ago, but you have to go to a list of codes. It might just be real-time information. There's a list of codes, and you can add Power Stroke. It'll be Ford, that's the brand, Ford, and then it'll have in parentheses like Power Stroke specifically. But anyway, this is what you get out of those. So I got Fic Ficum Logic Power, just Ficum Power in, Ficum Power out. Ficum Sync, which is if your cam and crank sensor is signaling with your Ficum to inject the fuel. My truck had an issue where there was no Ficum Sync. It wouldn't inject the fuel. And that was an issue I had for a while. And I just was very skeptical about replacing the wiring harness, you know, because they're very expensive. So I wound up taking it to a mechanic and he, well, the third mechanic figured it out and he replaced it. But high pressure oil pump, that is the ICP pressure which it has to be over 500 in order to start. Anything below that, you may have a bad injector O-ring or a bad high pressure oil pump. ICP has to be under one if the truck is not driving. IPR, which is the uh, regulator for the uh, oil. So as long as that's somewhere around like 30 to 60, you should be all right. It should never be at 15 or 85. It's at 15 now because the truck is off. All right, then you got just the battery, your boost, your RPM, the fan speed, and coolant temp and engine oil temperature. I found out that if your engine oil temp and your coolant oil temp are like more than 10 degrees apart, that you should keep an eye on them just because of head gasket issues. But I don't have an EGR valve, so I really shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Uh, let me get this truck started. All right, so as you see, it's 800 over here. This is under one because it's idling. But when you start driving, this will go up to like one and a half. I think the most it's supposed to hit is two volts uh, RPMs. Let me give it a quick rev. You just hold it actually because I think it's a little delayed on this. Just hold it up. See? Yeah. See, everything's going up now that I'm holding it. Let's probably check that, make sure I don't have a blown head gasket or something. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer any questions anyone might have. Uh, Diesel Tech Ron also made a video about this. This is how I found it, so I figured I just might as well branch off, simplify it a little bit, or just make it more difficult. Either way. All right, have a good night.